Darren, we know Spotify have already dumped them. What kinds of shows would they need to produce to get back in the good books with Netflix? Look, I mean, they would have to produce something spectacular, wouldn't they? Because the two of them are vacuous, vacuous, vapid and vain. And that's the problem here. I mean, it, it's hilarious, Rita, that they're being called unproductive by Netflix and Spotify chiefs, <laughs> if reports are to be believed. I mean, they cried about the hardships of being working royals in racist old blighty, according to them, only to find, Rita, that producing a few vacuous podcasts was too much like hard work. And you just think, these poor dears, Rita, how are they going to manage to pay off this Montecito <laughs> mansion now? Oh, well, I mean, if they've already got way more than they deserve, if you ask me, especially after having a look at that, was it a six-part documentary, they called it? It was a reality series, but the most boring reality series ever produced. And this week's Harry's wish list of people he wanted to interview for his podcast was revealed. Among the famous people he was interested in sitting down with were uh, Vladimir Putin, Donald Trump, Mark Zuckerberg and Pope Francis. The fact that Harry was entertaining these people as possible guests apparently left Spotify executives rather amused. Uh, Darren, was Harry and his inflated ego suffering from delusions of grandeur here? Should he have uh, set his sights a little bit lower? Do you know, I'd actually, I, I don't blame the Spotify executives for, for being absolutely bemused by that, right? Because Harry is about as thick as two short planks. We know for a fact, he, what, he was talking there apparently about wanting to explore their childhood traumas. I mean, this is the whole, mm. this goes to the very crux of, of Prince Harry, Rita. Harry sees himself as a perpetual victim. Now, Rita, you know, we all mm. understand that losing a mother at a young age can, of course, be tough. But I mean, lots of us across the West, Australia, Britain, America, we come from fatherless homes these days. You know, you don't go about mm -hmm. playing the victim card every two seconds like Prince Harry does, especially not if you grew up in a palace, for goodness sake, if you attended the <laughs> ultra uber posh private school of Eton, if you inherited millions of pounds and then you complain about the struggles of entering the working world only to sit around in a Montecito mansion without bothering to produce a few lousy podcasts from said mansion. Get off your privileged back. <laughs> Backside. That's what I say, Rita. Oh, well said indeed. And Harry's not the only Sussex with big guest ideas. <laughs> Megan apparently asked Taylor Swift to appear on her podcast and even sent the pop star a personal letter. But despite that extra effort, Tay Tay still snubbed the invitation. Uh, well, if they can't get Putin, the Pope or Taylor Swift, uh, who should they be targeting? Give us some ideas here. Help them out, Darren. Uh, who can they get to sit down with them, produce some compelling content so they can hold on to those rich contracts? Well, listen, I mean, are the cast of some reality television shows, you know, the Kardashians, I think they're, that's the only pool that they're going to be able to operate in, Rita, because they're about as tacky and desperate as the Kardashians. I'll tell you that much for free. Listen, I actually think Spotify should have let Prince Harry attempt to interview President Putin, Rita, because never mind this Wagner group scaring Putin into hiding. If you can imagine Prince Harry <laughs> heading to Moscow and interviewing President Putin, after just half an hour listening to and the whinge, he'd have ran to the exit, right? He would have exiled himself out of choice for a bit of peace and quiet <laughs> after putting up with that petulant pair. I'll tell you that much. Taylor Swift, she clearly could see that the writing is on the wall for this plastic pair. The, the empire made of sand is crumbling faster than a sandcastle in a tidal wave, Rita. And Taylor Swift is far too intelligent far too successful to deal with this desperate couple.